Imagine looking up to the sky and seeing a bird with a 24-foot wingspan and bony teeth projecting from its mouth. This dragon-like bird was common about 25 million years ago, and Daniel Sepka of the Bruce Museum identified this creature that now takes the title of largest ever flying bird. The curator at the Charleston Museum, Albert Sanders, he, he was the curator at the time, he's since retired, and he works on whales primarily, so he invited me to study some birds that he had, and I was uh, quite interested because they come from an important time period in Earth's history. However, I was not aware that the largest bird in the world was in one of these drawers, and so when he pulled it out, uh, you know, I was kind of blown away, and so it was, it was a surprise. Sepka studied the fossils and estimated the dimensions of the giant bird. The name was Pelagornis sanders eye, and it had the largest wingspan of any bird that ever lived. So we're talking about about 6.4 meters. Um, we're talking between 20 and 24 feet. So this would have just been an enormous animal. The size made the bird clumsy on land, and although it could fly, it needed a little help getting airborne. In order for this animal to launch, it may have needed to take advantage of things like wind or um, some type of elevation. Its ability to fly thousands of kilometers at a time over open water is the reason why Sepka was able to study the well-preserved fossils. In order to be preserved, these bones had to sink to the bottom of the ocean. So they're found in marine deposits. They're covered with um, this kind of calcareous sand. And so the animal died in the open ocean luckily sank to the bottom before anything like a shark or something destroyed the carcass and, and then was covered up and, and then sat there for about 25 million years until it was exposed again during construction at the Charleston Airport. The fossils are now on display at the Charleston Museum. In the It's Relevant newsroom, I'm Taylor Knight.